friends today we are going to see how a debit voucher looks like and how to fill in the details in a debit voucher now what's a debit voucher when a party debits the account of its creditor because of certain transaction it issues a note to the concerned party intimating that certain amount has been debited to its account and proper adjustments to be made in their own account this intimation is termed as debit now what the other party does the other party should issue credit note against the debit without the credit note this transaction is incomplete so the company's name is xyz limited and then we have the company address underneath after that we got a bank blank column blank box now this blank box will have the name of the person to with to whom the payments have been made we will say uh, the payments have been made to and anirban bakshi so we will write anirban bakshi here on the right hand side it says debit voucher and underneath there is this date so we will uh, put in today's date let's say today is the 1st of april 2015 and then we have the details what kind of payment is it we say it is for salary so in the first line where it is written debited we will write salary account debited and then on the right hand side it should be right we will write in the amount of salary that has been debited or the amount that has been or that is payable so we will say 25000 here like i said this is instead of a salary slip that that was issued we, the company or xyz limited has issued a debit voucher to anirban bakshi so it is in respect after the details we got one line that says in respect of what we will give in the month name we will say it is in respect of the month of march 2015 so this was for the month of march 2015 and the sal uh, today's date is 1st of april 2015 then we got the pay details how is this 25000 paid if the payments would have been made by cash we will take cash but here we say the payments are being made by a check so we will take the check box then we give the check number let's say the check number is 456123 then we have the bank name let's say the check has come from sbi bank and then the check is dated 1st of april 2000 15 and then we got the total amount which is 25000 now like i said if it's a cash payment we just take cash and the rest of the boxes would all be blank because it's just a cash payment but we have selected a check payment here so we will leave the cash box blank and we will fill in the details in the rest of the boxes and then whenever we give in the numerical amount we always have to write it in words so here where it's written rupees we write the amount in words we say 25000 only and then we have the payee's signature payee here is the receiver so anirban bakshi would sign in here in payee's signature passed by who is the authority who has approved of this payment will put in his signature in passed by then the extreme right side has the accountant signature So who has released the payment? The accountant. Here, the accountant signature would be there. Now, this is how your debit voucher looks like, and this is how one should fill in the debit voucher. I hope this is clear to you now. Thank you.